my name is Charmaine and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thanks so much for stopping by. And thanks for all my other subscribers that's been watching all my videos, liking, sharing them. And if you want to see a certain video, just leave it below and I will try to get it out for you. <laughs> Let's get started with this tutorial. Today I am going to do a shirt for my son, but I also had a request by one of my members also had a request from one of my members in my well a few of my members in my um facebook group which is called brown girls craft with cricket they wanted to see how to sublimate a photo on a shirt and today i'm going to do that my grandfather had met the late muhammad ali and he took a picture with him and I'm going to, and I'll show my son the picture, and he really loved the picture. And so he Googled Muhammad Ali, and he was, you know, just really excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this shirt with him and my grandfather on it for my son. So this is the, the words I'm going to put out. Basically, Google quotes by Muhammad, and this is one of his quotes. So what I did, I'm not going to go through all this again because I can show you, but I'm not going to do this because I already have a video showing you how to upload fonts and upload text. Link the tutorials below this video. And um, I, this is a bold font. I can tell you the name of this font. This font is called Conrad. And then this font right here is called um, TY Typha Pro Bold. So this is the, the name of the font I'm using. And this size of this font right here. Sorry, I just deleted it. The size of this font right here is 9.2 wide by 2.1. Okay, that's the size. That's, that's what size this, this whole phrase is. And then this size this whole phrase is 10.4 by 3.7 okay and then what i did was after i wrote down what i wanted i centered it and then i um flattened it so i can i'm gonna go ahead and i flattened it because i'm going to sublimate it so it's gonna be like a print and cut and um cricket okay and the size i did this size because my son his shirt he's a medium he's a nine so um it's, I don't want the words to be that big and I didn't put the picture in here because I put the picture in Microsoft Word because of, for some reason it didn't want to upload into Cricut so I was like whatever I want to be bigger anyway so I put it in Microsoft Word so I'm gonna show you that in a minute so I just want to make sure that this is the right font the size this is nine and then this is this is how I measure the uh, I measure how much how, how big it's gonna be on the shirt this is nine going um no I'm sorry this is the height the height is point the height is two inches and then this is three inches so that's three four five and then i think the picture is probably gonna be like um four inches it is about so about nine inches on the shirt so that should be enough um as far as going down the shirt the width of the shirt i mean i'm sorry the height of the shirt would be like nine inches and i want to just make sure that would fit on this shirt this medium size shirt so what i do is take my tape measure and i measure that space on that shirt real quick show you right here so this is the shirt and um i'm gonna take my ruler and see about how far nine inches to be oh yeah that'd be great it's only gonna come down to right here and i could make the, uh, the lettering a little bit sh a little bit smaller so it can come up to about eight so um because she still got another Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. He still got a couple more inches left. So if I put it about right here, it'll come down to here. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it like it is. Okay. Okay. So that'd be great. And if it's big, oh well, it's good for him. I'm... Okay. So now, I will already print out the image. I'm gonna show you the print. I printed it out of my um, on my sublimation printer, and I mirrored it. Okay, and there it is, right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to how I get the photo. Let me just take you to the pro the process through that real quick. How I did that. Okay, I flattened it. Flatten this to make sure it's flattened. Which is the, I'm sorry, the, the flatten button is right there at the bottom right here. 
I flattened it. I flattened both of them. So now you see it's just two files, two um layers, which is saying it's too big to clip, um, cut with Cricut. Made it I gotta make this smaller. So I'm sorry. I told you the wrong thing earlier. I did make it smaller. So I made it um this the size that I need to make it for Cricut. I'm sorry about that, y'all. So that was the wrong size I said earlier. No, that's crazy. It's the right size. So I don't know what's going on with Cricut. It was the, it's the same exact size I had it and now I don't have a little sign there. So I don't know what's going on with Cricut. Sorry, I'm confusing y'all. I hope I'm not confusing y'all. Let me just go back over the size I had it there. Okay, so I'm just going on going over until I see that um, little thing disappear over here. There it is. Okay, so the size is 9.2 by 2. Point one, and then this is 9.8 by 3.022. I basically made it as big as I can, as I could for it to print in um, Cricut, okay? So it's flattened and I'll just go ahead and go to make it. So you have to flatten it if you're going to use sublimation and if you're going to do a print cup, which is sublimation and Cricut. So then I have to go ahead and mirror it. Then I push continue. I'm not going to print it because I already have it printed, but I'm just showing you the steps. Then you send it to printer right here, okay? And then my printer is right here. The Epson 7710 is what I use for sublimation. And then I put no bleed. And then I push print, okay? And that's how I got this right here. And, of course, we're going to cut that line off around that line and just keep it white. I'm going to separate it too because I'm going to put the picture in the middle of that. Okay, I've got that process done. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. Okay, here's the picture of my grandfather and Muhammad Dali. And I want this, I didn't want to, do, and usually I use Word and I print my big pictures in here and I basically I turn it landscape for my big, if I'm if I'm printing out a big bigger image, I, I turn it landscape, okay? But since it's my son's shirt, he's a little kid, so I'm gonna keep it this way. And this is the way I want the size I want it. Okay, and let me show you how to print from Word when you're sublimating. You go up to. Okay, let me just say you basically I brought the, the picture out and then I, I spread it out the way I want it. Then I went to position and I positioned it in the middle of the page. Okay, and the size of this is four by two. I mean, sorry, four point five three is the height and the width is eight inches so i'm gonna show you how i print so i'll go up to file right here at the top of the screen i'm using a mac so it's different it's kind of hard it's, this is a good video to show you how to find your print settings in um for mac so then you go first you need to go to page setup right here and then you make sure it's the right printer it's the printer i'm going to use an um u.s border or you can go to, because I also use tabloid paper, which is 11 by 17, because you know you can't print big from Cricut. So I bring my work over here to Word or either Silhouette. And you can also do um, tabloid, which is 11 by 17. And I have 11 by 17 in my sublimation printer. And I also have 8 and a half by 11 in my sublimation printer. Okay. Um, and then you can put no put borderless, so you won't have no border around it. Or you can go to US letter, which is what I'm using right now, which is 8 and a half by 11. Okay. So that's set. For us letter it says right here 8.5 by 11 inches then i say okay but i don't want to push okay because it might print then i go to um i do this every single time i print to make sure all the settings stay are good for where i want because i always change my paper back and forth when i'm using sublimation so i go back and i go to file and i go to print now then i'm my there's my printer again and then i go to um presets Make sure it's, it's everything's okay right here. Color on plain paper, bright whiteness. Okay. Then I go to copy and pages. This is this is where you have to go to make sure you have your print settings. You go down to print settings, and you go down to um paper source is right. Then you go to media type, and I go all the way down to premium present paper mats. Okay. This is where you find your, this is the paper you should be using. If you use, I, I use Asa paper. 
and um, this is the setting you need to put it on. Premium, presentation, paper, matte. Okay, and then the quality, you always want the best quality, okay? And then you mirror it right here. You mirror your image. Make sure that's on. And everything else is good, and then you push print, okay? And I'm going to show you my, pic my picture, okay? There it is. And also, let me tell you how you can how you know your um your ink is running out in, in these printers. I printed this picture last night, and my ink it was really wet right here. And then me my and then I checked my ink, and it is low. So I'm that's what I just did. I just changed my ink right now, so it's changed. So this picture is gonna still show up good because it's still ink is just how the table was printed, how the table was on the picture. So um it's gonna be okay. But yes, that's how I find out that my ink is low in my sublimation printer is when it leaves a little puddle of ink on the um, paper so let me change it let me change it right now before i make a goof on my next project so that's what i did today i went ahead and changed my um ink i have a video on how to change your ink and your sublimating printer and i have the epson 7710 okay so now i'm about to go ahead and heat up this heat and press and i'm gonna show you how to press it on the shirt Yes, I should have changed my ink before I printed out this picture. Um, the picture was dull, but just a reminder, the picture is supposed to be dull before sublimation, but yes, my ink was low. Okay, my heat press is still heating up, so I'm just going to show you what I have here. I cut out the words, and I separate them so I can be able to put this on top of the picture and this on the bottom of the picture. Okay, and here's my picture. It's okay to leave some white around the pictures because I need to put some tape on there and I don't want to touch the picture. So I always leave white around the picture, which is okay because it's sublimation and the sublimation won't get the white background. So I also have this paper, my butcher paper. And the um, links for everything that I use on this video will be below the video, okay? You always put the piece of um, parchment or the piece of butcher paper under in between the shirt so the ink will not bleed on the other side of the shirt. And you also put a piece of butcher paper on the top of the shirt. So it won't bleed on your heat press. Oh man, I had some water. Dog on it. Shoot. I have some water right here. My glass is sitting on here. Hope this don't mess it up. It didn't touch the words good. Let me cut this part off real quick. Sorry about that, guys. A little water on my table. Make sure your, your surface is clean. Okay, good. It didn't touch the picture. So, you wipe this up real quick. Okay, that's what I was saying about my group. If you want to join my group, it's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And we do a lot of fun things, tutorials. We um help each other out. We show our crafting skills. We sh show what we're working on i do polls every week and they basically vote on what topics they want me to do a tutorial on and whoever wins the most votes i do the tutorial on wednesdays okay this is a performance t large 10 12 for kids and it's 100 polyester this is my first time poly um separate on a gray shirt so i love doing first time with you <laughs> So now let me go ahead and get use the rent, lint roller to get all the lint off the shirts. Okay, hundred percent polyester. This is kind of dark, so I want to see how it's going to show up on this picture that I have. But it is a hundred percent, so it's supposed to work. We will see. I got this from um, Walmart. In the boys section. Okay, now I'm gonna just gonna and make sure I have like this little plastic um in here. This is like I think this is like vinyl. Make sure that's covered with the paper so it won't hit the um heat. Little words with a tag should be hanging out the um heat press anyway. Cause you need to have it, you want the image to go at least three inches below the um neckline. I'm going to press this for like five seconds, get the moisture out and all the wrinkles. OK. 
okay? Now I'm ready to put my image on there. Three, about three inches below. Right about there. And I put that. Let's see if I... Right about there. Guys, it's, um, sublimating the photo is the same as sublimating anything else. A PNG image is the same exact way to doing it okay i got my shirt i'm sorry my camera must have went out i went on ahead and record everything and it would not record so i went on ahead i got the lint roller i um get everything off my t-shirt and then what i did was put parchment paper well but butcher paper in between the shirt then i put it on the heat press for about five seconds to get all the um, moisture out and the wrinkles out and then I went ahead and cut the images. This is the top part of the um, words. This is the picture. And this is the um, uh, the bottom part of the words of the phrase. Then I went ahead and taped it with my um, heat transfer tape. And I think that's all I did, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, my video, my camera went out and I didn't want to take the tape off the shirt and do it all over again. I have another video that shows you that. So just look at some of my other sublimation videos. I, like I said, doing a photo is the same exact way. Sublimation, sublimating a photo, photograph is the same way as sublim sublimating a PNG, okay? Same exact way. But I want to do this because it was requested for me to do it in my group. Alrighty. So now I'm going to hit. I got my heat press set for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Like I said, I already press the shirt to get the wrinkles and stuff out so now it's time to put on the press make sure it's straight like so if you want to want to see how I tape everything down you can check out my other videos I have like two other sublimation videos on t-shirts I have a sublimation video on a notebook. I have a sublimation video on a um, luggage tag and also one on a water bottle. And I also have a sublimation video on glitter on top of vinyl, on top of 100% cotton, a black t-shirt. So check that out too. Go ahead and cover this up with this, uh, the paper. Like I said, it's my first time doing it on a gray shirt. I hope it turns out right, guys. 400 to 60, for 60 seconds. If you like these videos, please come and check out my Facebook group. I do a lot of tutorials. If you like crafting and like working with the sublimation and Cricut, please come and check out my Facebook group. I will accept you in the group as long as you answer the questions, the four little questions you have to answer to be accepted into the group. We have a lot of tutorials. I do a lot of tutorials. We ask um, the ask questions. I answer them for them. I know what, what it is. I'm not perfect, so I'm here helping, and they help out too. The ladies in my group, they really help out. They um, share their craft. We do um, polls every week. I pick a, um, I give them a couple topics to choose from, and they choose it, and whatever one wins the most votes. I do a tutorial on it every Wednesday. I do a tutorial on what vote voted, you know, what um, what to on what topic won the vote. Okay, that was our sixty seconds. Let's check out our shirt. We never use our parchment paper over. I know y'all seen one of my videos I did, um, how it, ble it bleeds through, and I accidentally used one, and I didn't know it bled through, and it came up on my, my item, on my project. So always, always throw that away. Do not use it over when you're, using, when you're doing sublimation. 
Okay, y'all. Wow. Came out better than I thought it would on a gray shirt. Well, the words did. We're going to see about this picture. Okay. Oh, it did good. I'm satisfied. Yes, sir. I'm very satisfied. For a gray shirt. Came out pretty clear. Let me give y'all close up real quick. Just one second. Let me um take this out. Look at Muhammad Ali and my grandfather. And those lines should come out. It's a, good, it's a nice picture. It, it turned out pretty well. Okay. And this is the shirt right here. You can know what shirt this is for kids. Performance T. 100% polyester from Walmart. I left it in the athletic department, went in the boys section. So there you have it. Here's a photo on a gray shirt, 100% polyester shirt. And it did pretty well. Pretty well. I like it. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell so, I can, so, so you can be notified when I upload more videos. And comment below. Let me know what video you want to see next. Until next time, have a great one.